Do I want to give you like a side. background story of Herobrine. Like, people think Herobrine's this like big scary guy. No, 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 no. Steve was the one that gouged out his eyeballs, and doctors had to save him by implanting like glass eyeballs and stuff. And he uses sonar detection in his nose to see. It's an accurate. I was there when that happened. Oh, you and were there? I, Tell me how it was. Yeah, I was there. No, well, Steve slipped when he was holding a knife. The knife when he was Oh, oh so, so, you're, so you're one of those pro Steve guys. No, I'm saying it's an accident. And then Hair Brian just, just went crazy. I mean, I think I'd go crazy too. How, do, how does someone eye. slip with a knife and gouge out someone's. Both eyeballs. Both. You said. I mean. It was both, not just one. Not like, oh, I slipped. What, he, he just yeah, slipped. And okay, fine. Okay, what happened? Realistically. Okay, I didn't by the way, this is the story of Hairbrine. Keep going. Yeah, um, Steve and Hairbrine were in the kitchen, right? The mom's kitchen. Oh, by the food. way, why, why in the it. kitchen? Because it's a background story. Why are they, why are they in the kitchen? Because are they, are they friends at this point? Brothers. Okay, oh, oh. Okay, continue. And that was just general knowledge. I thought they were just friends what? that shopped at the same clothing store, but continue. No, they're brothers. So their mom was like, I'm lazy, you can make food, and they were like, I got you, homie G. But, um, Herobrine was washing his hands, some water slipped, I just fell on the ice because of that same reason. And okay. Steve I'm, I'm was walking so around. Steve was walking around, had his, had his knife because he was going to cut the chicken, slipped in some of the water that Herobrine had accidentally dropped on the floor, and I don't really know how it happened exactly because I was like, kind of, I just fell off the map, that's why. So, I don't know how it happened exactly, but he somehow slipped onto Herobrine, hit his eye. When he got up to check the damage, kind of slipped again and hit the other eye. So, I mean, all in all, it's Herobrine's fault because, like, kind of missing the water and letting yeah. it get... By the way, more. I just won. I'm pretty awesome. Continue, though. You didn't, you didn't win. I won. I well, you won, but you didn't actually win. Okay. No, semantics. <laughs> Keep going. Semantics, that was pretty much it. No, no, no. So, you're, so you're saying, so you're saying Herobrine, the one, the most... Fur just, 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 just spilled water accidentally. He was and, washing his hands, and some water just got on the ground. And Steve just slipped and fell, and got and just knife. One knife went in both eyeballs. No, 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 no. One knife went in one. Right? Okay. And then he got back up because he was like, he didn't really know what's happening. He just heard Herobrine screaming, so he was like, "What's going on?" So he got up and kind of was bending over, and then slipped again. I, I, he's a very clumsy person. So you're, so you're, so you're telling again, me Herobrine, the master, the master awesome guy of Minecraft, like got stabbed in the eye and then just stayed there, just stood there, and was just like, yeah, let me not move for this to happen again. C -C -C. No, he was there's, like, no, there, you don't there, understand. He was like screaming in pain, agony, you know, kind of kicking his, kicking his legs, kind of moving his head all around, just saying what's going on. And then Steve was like, well, look at this. And he looked at it, and he slipped again, because obviously his hands were moved from his eyes, because he was looking at the eye, and then it happened again. No, 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 there's too many holes in your story. Not, not no, enough, not enough holes, holes in the story. eyes. There's two holes, and they're in here no, no, the eyes. No, no, too many holes in your story, because that's just not what happened at all. I'll tell you what happened. How would you know? You weren't there. I was there, and I was square, okay? So let me tell you how this all went no, down. No, it's okay. Minecraft. Of course you're square. Yeah, okay, okay so, so what happened was, right... Um, by the way, let me turn down these hostile creatures. Um, so, right, so, 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 so Steve and Herobrine, uh, grew up in, in, in a small village together. By the way, Herobrine is not even his real name, okay? It's Robert. Well, yeah, but I was just, I was just saying that for the sake of everyone. Okay, okay, so, so, um, so Bobby, as his mother would call him, so, uh, Bobby and Steve, right, or Stevie, Robert? you know, Stevie. Oh my yeah. god, I'm doing horrible at Dragon Escape right now. Yeah, no, no one cares about I your it, right? Dragon. Okay, you're really bad. So... So, so, so they're, they're, they're just out camping, right? And, uh, they hear, they hear some ghost stories and they're kind of freaked out, but, but, you know, it's all fine and good and dandy. They have a good night. They, then, uh, at the end of the weekend, they, you know, they've had fun. They're, they become good friends and whatever, you know, you know, Bobby, you know, Herobrine, you know, thinks the weekend went well. Steve feels threatened. Everybody loved Bobby. Okay. Herobrine again. And, uh, so he felt threatened and think, thought he had to take care of him because everybody loved Stevie. Everybody loved Steve. He was, uh, just... Your average Minecrafter, you know, with just that, that, that charming smile. So, one day, and by the way, they did look like each other. They could have been twins. They could have, you know. That's, that's just kind of the common knowledge. But, so what happened was, um, everybody knew that Bobby, although a good kid like Steve, had a little bit of an issue. He liked fire. Okay, we all know this. Herobrine's always liked fire. But, um, he always did it in a safe manner. But one day, everybody, um, uh, Herobrine caught a little tree on fire. By the way, one at Dragon's Given, pretty awesome. Uh, 
he caught a tree on fire. He was, uh, you know, he was reprimanded for it. But, you know, no harm, no foul. Steve took it another step further. The next day, Steve saw his opportunity. He lit the entire village on fire, killing 30 villagers. And everyone assumed it was Herobrine. The next day, the villagers that were still alive took Herobrine out to the cliff. That And it wasn't just a cliff. You know, we're, we're talking like block 250, right? And then it had a hole that ascended to the nether through bedrock into the nether. And they shoved Herobrine off the cliff for the crimes they thought he committed. Herobrine fell from like 250 blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He fell 250 blocks from the overworld, then into the nether, and everyone presumed he died. And then about a year on the anniversary that the village was burned down, people uh, saw saw Herobrine, and what had happened was Herobrine, being a still charming fellow that he was, made a friend out of the devil. You know, just, just made friends with uh, Beelzebub. And, um was able to get his life returned to him at the cost of his soul, which is why his eyes are white, because he has no soul. So he haunts Minecraft to this day, trying to find that exact Steve that framed him for burning down that village. So, I mean, that's that's where Herobrine came from. Part. I mean, that's where Herobrine came part, from. Because that is why I have a soul. I mean, I mean, he doesn't have a soul because Steve, you know, was jealous. It's all, it's all it's about envy. It's a story about envy and Angry. lying. Yeah. And so, but then also about perseverance. Like, Herobrine just didn't give up. You know, he made friends with the devil. How many of us can say that? One. Herobrine. I'm sure there's some other friends with the devil down there. I mean, he's got to have some friends. Forward. I mean, he's got a bunch of zombie pigment friends, but they're all, like, really jerks, and they all just like to play poker. He's got a gas friend, but the gas is always crying. So. No, he's kind issue with that he's, one. He's sensitive. He kind of talked about his big body like that. Anyone would be sensitive about that. Small tentacles. They're not called tentacles. You call that around him, he's gonna cry. Okay. They're fine. Floating appendixes. I don't know what to call them. They're tentacles. He's like a flying octopus. You're just not being politically correct. <laughs> so, but at least you know you'll go from here and you'll know the true story of Herobrine. Okay. Mm -hmm. That he was framed by Steve, gave up his soul, and haunts Minecraft to this day to try to find the one Steve that framed him for burning down an entire village. And the only reason he doesn't have eyes is because he has no soul. Only because of the deal with the devil. Which, you know what? I don't, I don't think I can sit here and honestly say that I wouldn't make the same deal. I would hunt down that Steve. Would you? Yeah. I think I would.